Hey guys, this is DID Choi with a quick video on how to import video into your Logic session and have everything sync up with timecode and all that stuff. Here we go. So I am in Logic Pro here. This could be your template, this could be a blank session, whatever you want. Because I like to start my music at measure three, I'm gonna set my first tempo point to measure three here and to import your video. Some people say you should go into file import, but Generally, I find it just easier to go into my finder and drag it in. And you can see you can drag it into a certain spot. So I'm just gonna start with bringing it into measure three. I'm gonna extract the audio so I can also see the audio track separately. And this is just part of a short film that I worked on earlier. So you can see with the time code, 010000 matches up with my time code here because that's how I set up my session. Now, if you go all the way to the right here, you can actually open the tempo list editor and you can also see the SIMT2 position of your different tempo time codes. Now let's say I want this file to be just for a queue that starts at a random number. Let's say we want it to start at this point where there's some audio. So it's 01002508, right? I want that to line up to measure three. In that case, I can just go into the tempo point, which is at measure three, Go into the SIMT position, type in 01002508, hit enter. And now, right at measure three is that exact SIMT position. Very easy. Let's undo that, go from the start. Some videos will have a SIMT position that starts at a different thing. So before you drag it into your session, check out your video file, make sure you know what that first time code is. This one happened to be at 00, but let's pretend that it's actually at 010002, just for the heck of it. So that means um, it might be easier to do it before I import, but it doesn't really matter. 01000200. And because I did that, my video moved. No problem. I'm going to right click or two finger click, depending on what you're using, on the video itself and do move region to playhead. Not the SIMPTY stuff, just the plain old region to playhead. And that means right at the O2 mark, if we pretend this was also at O2, our movie is synced up to our session. And then again, if we still want that, what was it, 2508, then we can still do that, 01002508, and it'll give us the same position. Now, because this is two seconds offset for the sake of our example, it's actually two seconds before, if everything was synced up properly at the beginning, there should be no problems. And then once you have everything in the right place, you can go ahead and start spotting. Maybe at this first shot of our character here, I'm gonna add a marker and I can simply lock these markers later on so that if I wanna change the tempo, this will still remain at the same spot. So maybe I want my cue to be at 80 BPM and this happens to land on a downbeat, great. And you can just continue spotting, right? And to learn more about how to spot a session, make sure to check out my tempo mapping video as well, because that'll really help you with getting natural tempo maps that land on all of your markers. And if you have any questions or any other comments, make sure to leave them in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, this has been DID Choi, and I'll see you in the next one.